Hi, in this video we're going to share with you this uh, really great method that I invented uh, to use music to help you to learn algorithms. So, sometimes the hardest part of learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube can be to memorize those long sequences of letters, which people call algorithms. Uh, you have to memorize these to be able to solve without looking at instructions or anything. So, what I did was I developed a way to teach uh, young people. Actually, Chandler was only six. He still is six. Uh, when he uh, wanted to learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube. So what I did was I developed a way to use uh, melodies, to use notes. So I'm going to teach you these, uh, this method right now. Uh, if you're solving the cube uh, with the white on the bottom, which is how we're going to solve it in our tutorial, with yellow on the top, and let's say that blue is facing you, then if I wanted you to turn the front side clockwise, then you would hear a low F note, like this. F. When you hear that, you would do that, front side clockwise. If you heard a higher F note, F. then you would do this, F side counterclockwise. If I wanted you to move the right side clockwise, then you would hear this, F. and you would do this. And if I wanted you to move the right side counterclockwise, then you would hear this, like that. So, if we wanted to instruct you to do a sequence, um, this is a, a mini algorithm. Um, it's a little thing that comes up a lot when you do more advanced cubing, but it's really fun to do because it really exercises your wrists and your index fingers when you do it. Uh, it's R, U, R prime, U prime. It sounds like this. R, U, R, U. So if you heard that, then you would do this. Could you sing together, please? R, U, R, U. And that's what you would do. Um, here's a little fun exercise. See how many times you can do that R, U, R, U uh, to, get your, so, to get your cube back to the way it originally was. Uh, that's a little mini quiz for you. Uh, so, hopefully you've understood uh, that how we're using these notes and these melodies to teach you algorithms. Um, Somebody wanted to know why we call ourselves Music's Cube, so I might as well tell you right now, Music's Cube, it just rhymes with music's, with Rubik's Cube, I thought it was kind of funny, but we also put a little six in there, because six is the age at which Chandler learned how to solve the Rubik's Cube, and even if you are six, I think you would be able to follow our instructions and solve the cube yourself. So, thanks for watching, um, good luck with solving the cube.